All right, guys, I'll be unboxing and demonstrating the differences between the Samsung Galaxy Ultra Watch and the Timu Galaxy Ultra Watch 7. All right, as you can see the package in there, um, there's your Timu watch and bands and instructions um, as soon as you open the box, all right? Uh, this also came with a third um, metal mesh band. I can't remember if I put it in the video, but it did come with one, okay? And uh, of course the Samsung watch. Um, of course, I put it back in the box for dramatic effect. You know, I opened, I got my watch months ago, but uh, once you got to see the comparison of uh, the unpackaging, all right. Of course, I got the one with the orange band with the uh, black and orange uh, bezel. All right. Okay, bear with me, guys. Shuffling the boxes around. Uh, I really should have edited this part, but it is what it is. So you see the watch faces and the bands and the chargers. Chargers are very similar. Watch faces are very similar as well, but you'll be able to see the difference as I get a little closer. All right, let's set up the Samsung Ultra. Uh, you see the locking mechanism on the band there. And they made an attempt on it on the Timu version. And I do mean just an attempt, like, like there's a, the locking mechanism there, but you can't, it doesn't really affect it, whether the band locks in or not. You really just slide the band in. So, but it's Timo. All right. Just hang on to the end of the video. Show you how much I pay for this watch. I will drop the link in the description. All right. There they are side by side real quick. I opened up the compass just to kind of see how accurate it was. As you can see, the watches were way off. I'm going to go with the Samsung version. And then on the back of the inside of the uh, Timu version, there's some print. I wanted to put the same face on it so you guys kind of get a closer idea what they look like side by side. All right. Let's link it up to my phone. There it is. Z7 Ultra. That's what they're calling it. It's real simple. It's like connecting anything Bluetooth. Now for the app, you're going to scan the QR code and then you're going to download the app. So open up the app. You're going to do a walkthrough. Give it a second to connect. It's going to take a while, um, a little walkthrough, but I'm trying to go through and kind of give you guys an idea, especially anybody think about buying this watch. I want to give you an idea how the app works. So bear with me. You're going to have to turn on your location to completely connect with the phone or the watch. We'll connect the watch with the phone. And there you go. It'll pop up. All right. Now, you can change the watch faces from the watch, but you get way more options uh, through the app. Even customization uh, from the background to, to the watch face, to the hands, to the colors, like you get total customization um, for the watch through the app, right? When you do pick a watch face you want, you're going to tap on it and give it, I don't know, three or four seconds to upload to the watch. And there it is. Yeah, it's just that simple. So it's kind of saying the concept, same concept as uploading it on the uh, Samsung watch. All right. You scroll through, you see the other option. That's the customization uh, part. All right. Let's see here. It's just plain, it's just multiple options. Like it's unlimited customization when it comes to doing that watch face or making that watch face. All right. Some of the options on the watch. You see D and D. Uh, motion gesture, uh, take a photo. I wasn't able to figure out to take a photo. I think I had to download a different app. But uh, for the notifications, you will have to give your uh, watch access to the phone. Um, and you can go through and set up your notifications, as you can see. 
just hit the right the check on the right hand side turn it on and off and it gives you notification option for every app uh, on your phone All right there's your personal information I uh, change your profile picture uh, put your weight and height and all that stuff in for your health if you want to track your health on the watch um, then the spinning dial on this watch as you can see it controls the uh, watch faces which is weird um, let's go through the watch a little bit here uh, swipe up just like on the Samsung watch and open up all your apps um, that's a heart rate monitor uh, that's your sport tracker uh, different sport options like on the Samsung watch as well have to zoom in alright there's your message option I have no message there there's your weather which is accurate um, when you swipe up like I said to bring up your apps there's your step counter I haven't had it on that long so um, and it's about as accurate as most smartwatches uh, there's your flappy bird game I'm sure most of us played that before uh, apologize for that contrast guys uh, let's see what else we got. Stopwatch. That's pretty self explanatory. Uh, wasn't able to get that one to work. There's your compass again. Like I said, I'm not sure how accurate that was. I hadn't seen my contacts yet. Let's see what else we got here. Gestures. Kind of like the S7 gestures, but um, I never really saw any options for gestures. I think it was just uh, on the watch. There's your vibration levels. All right, the password for the watch, which I think is useless. And the QR code to connect the phone with the watch. It works a lot faster than trying to connect it Bluetooth wise. It's connected for a Bluetooth call. Your watch pretty much acts as a Bluetooth speaker. And then there's your information about the watch. All right. There's your calculator. There's your um, relax, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, I'm not sure what that was. Definitely didn't know what that was. There's your dialer. That works. All right. Now this phone or watch is only. 14 bucks. I figured it was worth a shot. I'm checking my blood pressure 118 over 73. I can take it down, that's not accurate, but it works. So, um, that's your GPS tracker. Didn't want to give away my location, so I shut that down. Let's see what else we got here. Um, I think it's supposed to take my temperature. I've never seen that before on, on any smartwatch, um, but it says measuring and it shows a little heat uh, graphic. So, um, and that's your common, what well, it says there common apps, your everyday apps. If you swipe down, these are your options. All right, there's compass again. What is there? Um, it's a different compass. That's your watch information. And that's how you darken or lighten up your phone, phone screen. It's a QR code to scan from your watch to connect to your phone. All right. Then you swap, swipe. Uh, that's your vibration settings. All right, that's your settings. Dial is locked, unlocked. I mean, I don't, I don't like I said, I don't think that's useful at all to lock your watch. All right, uh, that's your uh, lighting setting, that's your music control or video control, whatever you got going on. This audio, all right, that's your weather, power on and off, factory reset. Okay. And again, your heart rate measure 73. That's probably accurate. I'm usually pretty calm throughout the day. So my uh, heartbeat 
rate is pretty low. All right, so this is the third band I was telling you guys about. Like I said, it's a metal mesh material. And again, when you spin the wheel on this watch, it goes through the watch faces. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.